Kamala Namek's dealt its first major blow after a stunning revision in the jobs market this morning. Almost a million jobs just vanishing into thin air. The Bureau of Labor Statistics is downgrading the total number of jobs created between April 2023 through March of this year by 8 118,000. I had to go back to elementary school to figure out how to say that. Making it the largest downward employment revision in 15 years. And it's not a headline that Vice President Harris wants as she campaigns and takes credit for the good parts of the economy. By virtually every measure, our economy is the strongest in the world. We have created 16 million new jobs. And Donald Trump wasting no time to hammer Harris over the revised numbers. Harris-Biden administration has been caught fraudulently manipulating job statistics to hide the true extent of the economic ruin that they've inflicted on America. With an extra, listen to this one, 818,000 jobs that don't exist. So they said they existed. And they never did exist. They built them up so that they could say what a wonderful job they're doing. Greg, I think one of the most, well, the least persuasive things I've heard on the economy lately has, and they've said it for a while, but increasingly this week, is that, well, the American economy is better than those around, than the rest of the world. So everyone, you should just be happy. Yeah. And it doesn't seem to me to be working, persuading people. It's basically saying, like, too bad. What are you going to do, leave, right? You're stuck here. Uh, I, I think, you know, for the Democrats, ignorance isn't just bliss, it's votes. You know, hence the tax on unrealized gains, which Kamala is pushing under the assumption that nobody knows what an unrealized gain means. So this is time for Greg's economic corner. I want everybody to grab their kids, <laughs> pull them around the TV. <laughs> gains, gains occur when an asset rises. Let's say you have a prized collection of baseball cards and they go up in price. A loss is when the price goes down since you paid. An unrealized gain is the value of the investment before you sell it. So a tax on unrealized gains is taxing money you don't have, and it goes right to the government. So to sell a corrupt, immoral idea, you got to call it something else. So you call it, instead of theft, it's unrealized gains. It's like saying an illegal is a newcomer. So an unrealized gain is the house that your parents live in. You know, the one that they hoped would, in, would gain in value? Well, if it does gain in value, 25 to 50 percent of that increase goes to the IRS every year. And they don't even sell the house, which means the money actually comes out of their pocket. How is that not theft? And they're going to say, but we're only going to do this to really rich people. But as you know, sooner or later, we run out of really rich people. Then it's rich people. Then it's not so rich people. Then it's poor people. Then you have, as Elon Musk said, really bad shoes. This path leads to bread lines and ugly shoes. This path leads to bread lines and ugly shoes. <laughs> yes, he did. Um, Jesse, I think another unpersuasive thing is when the Biden-Harris team, well, now, sorry, Harris-Walls team is now saying, but Biden created all these jobs. And when you point out that all the jobs were starting to come back under Trump, but it, the jobs were shut down because of COVID, they, they actually are trying to suggest that Joe Biden wouldn't have shut down the economy and that none of the jobs would have been lost. And I find that just really hard to believe. Now, the border, the jobs, the crime numbers, they're all mirage. Donald Trump came in, third quarter GDP was at 35%. That's a record. Fourth quarter GDP, 2020, 4.2%. He handed Joe Biden a growing economy. All of the Biden jobs are bounce back jobs from COVID. And then 40% of the jobs under Joe Biden have been from foreign born workers, AKA illegals. Now, Greg is right. What they wanna do is they wanna tax wealth. It's a wealth tax. This is what Liz Warren wants. Kamala is like Liz Warren, but she's actually Indian. Okay? The <laughs> people say it's this is like a conspiracy that the government would like somehow juice the jobs numbers in an election year to help the Democrat. Okay, so when Trump wins and he investigates it, they're gonna call that a revenge tour. This is what's happening here. You now need to make $120,000 a year to live a $100,000 a year lifestyle. 
$20,000 in purchasing power is gone because of Joe Biden. Medium household income under Donald Trump, 78 grand. Under Biden Harris, $76,000. It's gone. They're just taking the money away. Now she wants to raise taxes and spend $3 trillion and cap prices like a communist. Yeah. But don't call her comrade. That's mean. You don't want to call people names. Jessica, <laughs> the economy is the issue, yep. aside from abortion, which I think that's, if you're voting on abortion, you're voting on abortion. But the economy is the one that can move voters either way. And this is not great timing for Kamala Harris, who is trying to do, do, do this rollout. She'll have a great speech tomorrow night, no doubt. But Friday, everything gets harder. Yeah, it's going to get harder, and we'll have to see what kind of candidate she's going to be after this initial period. New get through the convention. She's going to do long-form interviews. We're going to have a debate. Hopefully, we'll have multiple debates and one on our network, which I think would be fantastic. Um, but this is not the headline that you want on day three of your convention that has been going really well. Donald Trump immediately jumping to conspiracy theories about how this happened, though, is a little rich. In August of 2019, the height of COVID, Donald Trump's own administration got an extra 501,000 jobs magically out of thin air that had to be revised down. So if you think that what Kamala or what Joe Biden did was fraudulent, then you think what Donald Trump did was fraudulent. The perhaps how much the were they revised down? Oh, you're going with that? So no, how much were they revised down? But they were fake jobs. Sorry, he's sitting next to me. Can I they, go? They don't exist. <laughs> One thing, though, that could be a sense. silver lining for all of this for Kamala Harris is that this is going to signal that there is going to be a rate cut coming. And our impressions of the economy are pretty much baked in. She's cut into Trump's lead a little bit, but people are probably on Election Day going to think that he's still better for the economy. We know that. If there is a rate cut, people will experience that, and they may associate that then with the Biden-Harris administration and then hopefully for Harris Walls on November 5th. Judge, the way things are going, I imagine imagine that you could even have Harris say that she's going to extend the Trump tax cuts in 2017 in order to help the economy. Well, sure. But let, let's be clear about something. There are 818,000 jobs that vanished that Biden-Harris said they had added to the economy. And let's be clear about it. That is the largest revision to a job report in 15 years. It's never been, uh, there's never been a claim like that. But it seems that, you know, the Democrats are okay if they, if they change the facts because nobody fact checks them. It's just like two nights ago when Joe Biden is repeating all the lies of the fine people hoax and the bloodbath and uh, praising the Palestinian people and the idea of injecting bleach to people who had COVID. All of that has been debunked, but nobody says anything about it. The media doesn't hold the Democrats for the lies, for the straight out lies and the misinformation. But let's be clear, the impact on the market is very clear because companies rely on the, these numbers in order to hire and in order to decide what they have to make for the consumer. And, you know, it just doesn't fit. And the lack of policy that these Democrats are promoting and stating is shocking. And I heard, Dana, on your show today uh, on America's Newsroom, Governor Polis from, is it Polis from Colorado? Yep. He says, you know, they've got all of these policies about the economy and this and that. And Bill Hammer says, well, where did you get that from? We haven't seen it. And Polis pretty much doesn't tell the truth and says, oh, it's on our website. <laughs> and Bill Hammer says, I've been on the website. I didn't see it. But here's the thing. What has changed in this country is this. 20 years ago, if you were 19 points ahead on the border, six on the economy, seven on foreign policy, and five on crime, that's the end of it. But today, it is a different, there is a, there is a different paradigm. You got to feel unity and joy. They don't care if there's a policy or if you lie straight up. All they care about is feeling good. And that's what scares me about this whole thing. All right. Good talk, everybody. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else. Vanish. Vanish. Inflict. Inflict. Fraudulent. Fraudulent. Manipulate. Manipulate. Persuasive. Persuasive. Mirage. Mirage. 
comrade, comrade, paradigm, paradigm, debunk, debunk, bliss, bliss, ignorance, ignorance, silver lining, silver lining. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you for watching.